Hello, Mark here from Rockin' Walls, a certified dry stone waller with the uh, DSWA and the DSC, uh, level three with DSWA and also level two with uh, DSC and instructor certified. We also have workshops at the Rockin' Walls Training Center. If you're looking to take a workshop, check that out. I'll have the links below in the description. But I uh, just wanted to share a little tip. Uh, currently working on a patio right now and just wanted to share some of the things that I do during the winter time when it gets a little cold out and things start freezing on the ground with my material so let me go ahead and show you so first up would be pallets pallets are a great solution in order to keep your material from freezing to the ground you know a lot of times if something if say you have a stone on the ground you go to pick it up it takes half the lawn with it or uh, or dirt so uh, that can be really frustrating and then you got to try to scrape it off so even with my bucket I have that on a pallet now the only downside with pallets is that you know if things really do freeze next the pallets might stick to the ground so pallets are a good choice for keeping your material off the ground and then also just taking some tarps and tarping them to uh, minimize any kind of material uh, snow or things like that that might accumulate on top so let me show you the next thing next up will be rubber stall mats now these stall mats are typically found at like uh, you know farm stores for horses uh, they're just rubber mats they come in different sizes different thicknesses now uh, these are nice you know I'm just doing a lot of off cuts and just throwing them on top on a pile and it just allows me to get them off the ground they don't stick so stall mats that would be the next possible solution next thing would be a propane torch with one of the uh, flamethrowers for typically like weeds now this is to help me actually take any kind of snow or to more or less defrost any kind of uh, stones you know so I can get the snow out of this area here I melt all that I um, happen to be using a number eight for the most part which is really nice because it doesn't have a lot of fines so it doesn't um, typically there we go typically freeze up but it does have some fines in it so um, having the torch is nice because very quickly you can just kind of heat up the ground to get your uh, bedding material to a point where you can work it and it's not frozen so that's not really a material uh, handling item I guess you could say to protect the materials but it definitely helps to allow you to continue to work during the winter time say you had a pile of stone and there's a lot of snow on top of it you need to get it off you can just kind of get the torch out and start heating some stuff up it's really cool and I'm not sure if you can see this but as I'm going I'm basically taking the moisture right out of the stones and you can see them changing colors so you pretty much know at that point they're good to go you can move them around no problem one other trick in case you don't have a pallet or a stall mat to keep your stone on top of you can put your stone on top of stone uh, in this situation I've put the stone on top of the patio I've taken some small pieces of stone and wedged them up underneath so you know any kind of snow or things to get on top of it will basically just run off but the biggest thing is I could just get in there with my hands and lift it right up now the likelihood of this stone sitting on the patio uh, you know chances are I probably could get those up just as well but uh, with a little bit more water underneath of them if they do freeze it might be a little bit more difficult to try to uh, pry off the patio stone so just another really simple trick to use when you're trying to keep your material from sticking to the ground. Two last items I wanted to share with you is the tarp, which of course many of you use the tarp. This is a patio space that I'm working. They were calling for snow last night and if we had gotten snow and I could have worked say the day after, I would have just simply taken the tarp and rolled it back and I would have had no snow in the areas that I needed to still fill. The other thing I wanted to share with you, and that's also great for like say wall stone, they make concrete blankets which can really also insulate things um, I've never purchased one of those or used one but I'm sure those are really handy because I think they're black the green turf 
green turfs um, really wonderful for summertime any season just to kind of protect the uh, workspace or keep the space nice and tidy in this situation I'm dealing with a lot of mud as you can see because of the different um, you know spring you know well the thaw out of the uh, you know it gets really really cold everything freezes the next day it you know if it gets warmed up so it allows me to uh, walk back and forth without tracking a lot of mud into the in the uh, into my finished spaces and also if it was a straight run i could take the uh little machine and drive it forward back and forth without getting a lot of the uh, little like mud balls off the tracks in the uh bedding which i'm you know working with because the last thing you want is a lot of uh debris in your bedding material and this happens to be a 3 8 wash stone as i would mentioned before the other thing is you can also use like the stall mats or the rubber mats they're a little bit heavier i like the uh, green turf because a little bit lighter and you can just very quickly like lift it up and clean it out so just a couple items to share with you hopefully you found this information helpful and why don't you let let me know in the comments below what do you use what are some of the things that you really enjoy uh, that you find really helpful during the winter time thank you